Special teams, for most fans, it's a forgotten part of the game because of the small number of plays per game it gets. It doesn't mean they still don't happen, so today, we're gonna trigger select sports fans with eight of the most triggering special teams plays of all times. So, cross your fingers and hope your favorite team doesn't have a special teams blunder on this list. Number eight. The kick six. Don't you just love a rivalry game? If you're part of this one or the next one, these particular rivalry games probably stick out in your mind as you should have won them if not for those pesky specialists. The game is Auburn vs. Alabama 2013. Bama was in the early days of what was going to be a dynasty college football fans would hate, but that power didn't stop home state rival Auburn from keeping themselves in the game as head coach Nick Saban decides to let his kicker Adam Griffith attempt to win them the game instead of taking it to overtime since he assumed his kicker could only miss to the right or the left. He forgot about the possibility of missing short as Chris Davis would manage to field the ball nine yards deep in the end zone, and Alabama fans know what happened the rest of this play as Davis would return at 109 yards for a go-ahead game-winning touchdown, scarring Alabama fans forever. Auburn's gonna win the football game! Auburn's gonna win the football game! He ran the missed field goal back! He ran it back 109 yards! Number seven, keeping on theme with college rivalries gone bad, we have Michigan versus Michigan State, where the Wolverines had fought all game to get and maintain a two-point lead. With just 10 seconds left, it seemed like nothing could stop them from pulling out a win as they lined up to punt. But Michigan fans now know too well that the game isn't over until the clock hits zero. The snap is a little bit low, a little bit to the right of the punter, as it bounces off the hands of Blake O'Neill, who then tries to recover and punt the ball back over his head to no avail, giving the Spartans a perfect scoop and score opportunity to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, scarring Coach Harbaugh so much he vowed to never get another Australian punter after that. Whoa, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free! It's picked up by Michigan State's Jalen Watts Jackson! Number six, let's take this to the playoffs. The stage is set, and it's 16 to 15 in favor of the Eagles, with but 15 seconds left in the game. Now, the Bears are on the positive 25 yard line, as Cody Parkey is set to take the Bears to the divisional round of the playoffs after a tough eight year playoff drought. But as the ball leaves Parkey's foot, the trajectory seems a bit to the left, but maybe it'll squeak in. But after not one, but two doinks, the ball bounces back into the field of play. The kick is no good, sending the Bears home in heartbreaking fashion. Oh my goodness, the Bears season's gonna end on a double doink. Number five, Buffalo fans, beware, we have the Music City Miracle. This controversial lateral play took place in the 1999 playoffs, right after the Buffalo Bills took the lead on a field goal with mere seconds left on the clock. Needing some magic though, the Titans dialed up one of the gutsiest calls with a fake kickoff return that starts off to the right, lateraling the ball back to the left for the go-ahead time-expiring touchdown. This devastating play would lead to the firing of longtime head special teams coordinator Bruce DeHaven and mark the start of a 17-year playoff drought. But don't worry, Bills fans, this isn't your only appearance on the list. He's got something. 50. He's got it. 40. He's got it. 20. 10. He's got it. End zone. Touchdown. Ice. Number four. Now, not all triggering is bad. Some things can trigger positive emotions like happiness, and I think this one sparks nothing but good reactions in everyone, and that's the Gleason Block. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina wrecked the city of New Orleans. Amongst the destruction was the Saints home stadium being unplayable during that time, allowing for no home games during the 2005 season. In their first game back home, in front of an absolutely packed out stadium, the defense came on strong, forcing a three and out. And then, on a perfectly schemed up punt block, Gleason gets through free, demolishing punter Michael Coden to send a message to everyone that the Saints were back. This was an incredibly powerful moment, so powerful that I'm sure even Atlanta fans were happy to see it. I have, to this day, never heard a sound more meaningful than that football hitting Steve Gleason's hands when he blocked it. Number three, the miracle in New Medellin. Now, this play is really part of a greater, bigger miracle. After pulling off this miraculous 24-point comeback with 14 seconds left on the clock, the Giants could stem the bleeding by punting the ball and going to overtime. All they needed was their punter, Matt Dodge, who they just drafted, to kick the ball out of bounds. Heck, even if he kicked it directly sideways, the Eagles still probably would have had to take it to overtime. But if that's what happened, people probably wouldn't remember this amazing play as Matt Dodge yoinks 
a high snap down the middle to one of the greatest punt returners of all time. And to the Giants fans' dismay, Deshaun Jackson muffs the ball, picks it up, and performs what can only be called a Houdini maneuver to take the ball back 70 yards for a touchdown to pull out a victory. Can it! Deshaun Jackson! Still not in, and now in for the touchdown, no flags! Number two. Back on theme with positive children, I can't think of one more iconic football play than a play canonically known as The Play. The stage is 1982, Cal vs. Stanford, and Stanford just took a one-point lead with a late field goal to set the score of 20-19. to 19. All had seemed to have been lost for Cal, who had a good game to this point, but you know what? In one last hurrah, some backyard football is played. After three laterals all really seemed lost as Dwight Gardner was getting wrapped up from all angles, but in one last heave, he manages to get the ball off as he's getting tackled, leading to a miraculous run. With one more lateral, things seemed so dire from the sideline during the time he was getting tackled as Moen had to run through the last part of this play for a touchdown through the band member of Stanford who thought the game was over. It's easily one of the most exhilarating plays in football ever captured, but in my opinion, there's one more play that is significantly more true. We're down to the 20. All the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going to go into the end zone. The Bears, the Bears have won. Number one, wide right. Buffalo. Now there's so much context that needs to be given to this play, but in short, this is one of the closest Super Bowls ever played. The stage was set for an absolute photo finish as an 11 yard run gave the Bills a shot at a field goal after spiking the ball to stop the clock. This dominating Bills team had put on a show to get here up to this point, and with only 8 seconds left on the clock, they had a chance to win. Now, obviously, the play wouldn't be called wide right if that ball went down the middle, and that ball never stood a chance off Norwood's foot. But what makes this worse is the fact that the Bills would go four consecutive times to the Super Bowl, but this would be the closest they would ever get to winning, leaving this one bitter play forever in the minds and hearts of Bills fans as the only thing keeping them from having a single positive memory about their legendary four Super Bowl run with zero Super Bowl wins. But I'd love to know what you guys think are the most triggering plays. Did I nail the list or what plays did I leave off? As always, have an amazing day. Peace. Oh